Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Your Dudes TV. In today's episode, we'll be transforming this Redemptor Dreadnought from a mass-produced piece of Gillum and Schlock into a honored relic of the proud First Legion, the Dark Angels. I'll be giving you four steps for you to Dark Angelsify your Primaris Dreadnoughts and other vehicles as well, so grab your tools and let's get converting. Step 1. Fully assemble your Redemptor Dreadnought following the instruction guide that comes with the kit. Nothing fancy here, since we're only going to add stuff on top of it, rather than doing any form of actual heavy modification. However, I do recommend not gluing the upper body and the legs together, since keeping them in separate sub-assemblies will make the conversion process a bit easier. Step 2. Front Panels Dig into the Ravenwing Black Knight's box and grab a pair of these fancy tail fairings. These sinister looking statues are originally meant to sit on the back of a Ravenwing Champion's bike, but as you can see here, they fit perfectly on the two front panels of a Redemptor Dreadnought, so that's what we're going to use them for. However, to make these little angels fit, we'll have to make some slight adjustments to them. This little tab of plastic down here is a tab too long, and would make the panel look skewed if glued directly onto the Dreadnought. So what we're going to do is simply taking our hobby knife and shortening down this plastic tap down to this line which I'm currently pointing at with my knife. So it's just a matter of carefully shaving away at the plastic. Best to do it in increments as to not remove too much of it. Then, when you've readied both pieces to the same standard, we can proceed to glue both of them to the dreadnought. So to do this, we first have to figure out where exactly to put the pieces, just so we can achieve optimal symmetry. So as you can see, I'm just experimenting a bit here, fiddling around with parts and such, and I eventually decide on using these rivets as my point of reference. I want the bottom plastic tap to be placed exactly between these two lower rivets, and the hand of the statue to be just beside this top one. So first, I'm gonna dry fit the statue like this, visually lining it up in my head, and then I'm gonna grab my plastic glue and place a line of glue running along the bottom tap and a little drop at the top of the arm. Then, simply bring in the piece, place it down, and let the glue bind it to the front panel. And then, finally, repeat the process for the other wing piece. So for step 3, we're gonna move on to the thing that the Dark Angels love almost as much as their wings and their robes, incense bits. So we're gonna grab ourselves this incense thurible, which you can find in the Company Veteran Sprue. Dry fit it, and then glue it into the Dreadnought crotch section. Another cool incense bit is this monstrosity, found in the Ravenwing Upgrade Sprue. I found that it fits neatly into the space between these two chimneys located around the Dreadnought's reactor core. So to attach it to the back, I just apply a little bit of plastic glue to each end, and then I hold it in place steadily while the glue dries. When you're dealing with spindly bits like this, it's important to keep an eye on it and make sure it dries in the correct manner. So make sure to adjust it with your fingers a bit if you find that it starts bending in unfavorable ways. Now finally, for step 4, we're gonna give some extra bling to our Dreadnought's plasma cannon. So I picked up this little winged amulet from the Company Veteran set, and then this little ceremonial knife from the Deathwing Terminator kit. The Dark Angels love their plasma weaponry and treat them as relics, so giving the cannon some extra ornamentation certainly won't hurt. So I decide on putting the amulet right here beneath this skull icon and put the knife somewhere here at the back with the reactor. And then, once we've finished gluing on these final pieces, I think the conversion is just about complete. All that's left now is just to glue together the sub-assemblies and then base and paint the model. And there you have it, we've been able to successfully turn this fairly basic Dreadnought design into something a bit more worthy of the First Legion. If you enjoyed this simple little kit bash, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be posting more videos like this in the future. This has been Your Dudes TV, signing off.